Hi, I'm Andrew, a product manager at Google. If you've ever built Ajax applications, you know that it can be a tedious process as you deal with browser quirks and the speed of JavaScript, not to mention coordinating development as the team grows. Google Web Toolkit is a development tool chain that's designed to solve these problems, making complex, high-performance web applications easy to build and optimize. To better understand Google Web Toolkit, or GWT for short, let's look at four steps in the development cycle. Write, debug, optimize, and run. I'll do that using the mail sample that's included with the GWT SDK. Let's go into Eclipse and open up the project. The GWT SDK provides a set of core Java APIs and widgets. These allow me to write browser-based client applications, in other words, Ajax applications, in Java, and then compile the source into highly optimized JavaScript that runs across all browsers. Constructing complex web applications is more productive thanks to a higher level of abstraction on top of common AJAX concepts like DOM manipulation and XHR communication. I'm not limited to pre-canned widgets, either. Anything I can do with the browser's DOM and JavaScript can be done in GWT, including interacting with handwritten JavaScript. With the latest version of GWT, I can construct my UI in a template using UI Binder. The constructor for the mail detail widget used to be multiple lines of object creation. Now it's simply one line, with the UI laid out in an accompanying XML file. Currently, this application is just client-side JavaScript. The Java source is located in the client package. At deploy time, those files would be compiled into JavaScript and run in my user's browser. Usually, I'd have server code as well. I don't have to use Java on the server, but if I did, I would add a server package and put my server-side Java source in here. Files in that directory will run as bytecode in any servlet container, such as App Engine. To communicate between my JavaScript client and the server, GWT provides an optimized RPC mechanism, so I don't have to worry about low-level HTTP calls. Now, if my server was running something other than Java, I could just as easily use JSON. With some code written, I can debug in my favorite Java IDE, just like I would a desktop application, and also in my favorite browser, just like I would with straight JavaScript. The Google Web Toolkit developer plugin spans the gap between Java bytecode and the debugger and JavaScript in the browser. This has two benefits. First, because we're running Java bytecode, it means I can debug as I would any Java application, setting breakpoints, inspecting variables, and stepping through code. Second, I can develop using the familiar edit, refresh, view programming model of JavaScript, seeing my Java source code changes in the browser without compiling. Google Web Toolkit contains two powerful tools for optimization. First, the GWT compiler performs optimizations across my code base, inlining methods, removing dead code, optimizing strings, and many more things. With some guidance from me, the compiler can also segment my code into multiple JavaScript fragments, splitting up large applications for faster startup time. No more animated spinners as my user waits for an app to download. But bottlenecks aren't limited to JavaScript. Browser layout and CSS often behave in strange ways that are hard to diagnose. Speed Tracer is a new Chrome extension in Google Web Toolkit that allows me to diagnose performance problems in the browser. After I've compiled the application to JavaScript, I go to Chrome and I can monitor its performance. Among other things, it will show me what interactions are slow on the sluggishness graph and a drill down of where the time is going. Finally, I'm ready for users to run my application. I use the Google Web Toolkit SDK to compile my client-side Java code into optimized standalone JavaScript. The JavaScript's contained in this cache.html file here. The compiled script is heavily optimized, but if I want to inspect the output, GWT provides a pretty compile option that will generate the script in a human-readable form. The compiler handles browser implementation differences for me and creates an optimized file per browser. Browser-specific files mean a user downloads only what he needs. For instance, 
an Internet Explorer user doesn't download code needed on Firefox. My application is now ready for users to run on all browsers, including mobile browsers on Android and the iPhone. With Google Web Toolkit, I spend less time worrying about browser quirks and more time writing fast web applications. To learn more, visit code.google.com web toolkit.